Howdy folks, Howie here, Howie Cat, and I ended up this month with two box tarot boxes. I am assuming it's because I did not get one in November and they finally made good on it. Um, because I didn't, I didn't get it. They, I was charged and all that and I never got it. So here it is, The I haven't opened it yet, the box tarot's box. Let's see what we have. And what we have is something different. Um, that's not good, not bad. It's just normally this is all wrapped in bubble wrap and they stuffed bubble wrap here. <clears throat> Although I see the comics go all the way to the top. If they wrapped it in bubble wrap, you would get less comic books. So I assume they're giving us more comics now, right? Which is good. That's a good thing. As long as you get some good ones. Um, I'll take the bubble wrap out. and hide it from Archie. He loves that stuff. And we've got a, a Gideon card. No, okay. I guess there's a set of Marvel out I don't know about. Um, oops. And I'm pretty sure I didn't win anything. Cause I think it says winner here from what I've seen. If you won. Um, one of the prices, although I don't know. Here's a Super Mario sticker. I don't know. A little basic postcard that I don't really do much with. Okay, so let's see what we have. Um, since they're not wrapped, um, I know, let's see, take a peek. Yeah, because normally I turn it over, we look at them all from the back, and look at the subscriber. What the heck, let's just do it this way, from the box, without playing games. You'll be peeking at what's coming in. I probably already saw it, um, although this is the subscriber bonus and it says Dave Johnson variant. Okay. 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 Jupiter's Legacy number one. That's interesting because I think one of the prizes was a Jupiter Le Jupiter's Legacy. But this is one of the variant covers. These are worth like 25, 30 bucks. Um, they were really hot. Now, this is good. I mean, <clears throat> this is one of the few things that I would think is worth grading. Because a graded high one goes pretty high. Jupiter's Legacy, uh, it was, it's on TV. I don't know what channel. Uh, and I, it was canceled, which could hurt the book. Well, it, I'm sure it hurt the book a ton. So that may be why they're just throwing these into the boxes as a subscriber bonus. I don't know. But I've got a Jupiter's, Jupiter's Legacy number one worth a few dollars at least. Uh, probably 20 bucks. I would I'll low estimate it at twenty bucks. Bloodshot number one, okay. I think low estimate maybe five dollars. Uh, they did do a Bloodshot movie with uh, Vin Diesel. It didn't do well. Um, it was I remember when this book came out. I it was overproduced, but it was still one of the lower ones. Um, it'll sell in a heartbeat at the flea market for a few dollars just because it's a chromium cover and people think that's so amazing. So if I can't get anything for it, there's where it'll go. It's, it's certainly got to, it's going to be gone. That's for sure. But um, yeah, it's, that was uh, one of the big deals too in the day. That was a huge deal in the day. I remember selling those at my store and pe kids coming in and just, oh, they're so careful with them. And it was really, it was a big deal. But today, eh, a couple bucks. Another couple bucks, because Pep, an Archie book, is not a big deal. Uh, well, let's see, what's the little red light for? It flashes whenever it's time to make another payment. <laughs> Very funny. Um, I love Archie. You all know that. It's an older Archie. Uh, well, I'm guessing 1976. Easy terms, new 76 snowmobiles. And there's Betty laughing. And Very cute. Very fun, nice condition. Um, Archie is not super collectible, but I love Archie books. I'll read it. I'll, uh, you know, you can't keep me away from Archie. So what the heck? That's a good one to me. That might even go into my personal. But uh, Ariel, Ariel and Nun, Warrior Nun, Ariel. Oh God, I remember that number one of that. Ha. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's another '90s book. Um. 
It's a very strange independent book that uh, I don't know if it's worth anything at all. It had... Uh, it was option... It's, gosh, that's a weird one. Okay. X-Men. Okay. Let's look at the back. So nothing on the back. Well, Uncanny X-Men 279. Uh, again, 90s, I think. Years of comics. Yeah. I mean... Uh, yeah, 1941 to... It's a 1991 book. Um, whew, I don't know. I don't think it's anything special, but that X-Men stuff is starting to be worth a little bit here and there because people just want their X-Men. A Batman. Uh, part three of Many Deaths of Batman. I remember the book. That looks like a Norm Brayfogle cover. I liked him. Uh, I mentioned him on my face. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's a Piero. Okay, that's not Batman. Okay, there's Batman. He's killing someone who looks like Batman. Uh, yeah, that is a Piero. Normally, I can tell from the Batman. There he is in the shadow. Yeah, I, I love an Piero Batman. Um, don't know. A couple bucks. It'll sell again. Nothing I'm seeing here that's just wowing me, you know, that I know of it. Except for that Jupiter's Legacy. That's a sweet book. That's the subscriber bonus, which is strange, right? Because it wasn't a win of any type. Uh, ooh, this one's all... Ooh, if this is worth anything, it would have to be pressed. I don't know if you can see that. It is really warped up there. Uh, tombstone. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think, I don't, I don't, welcome to Tombstone, maybe a first Tombstone appearance? I don't know, but would that maybe, uh, could be a first Tombstone, I don't know. Okay, what do we got, a Mighty Thor, with Thing Fang Foom on the cover, and that is, uh, 380, a 75 cent book. It's another older book. I mean, we're getting stuff from the 80s and 90s that I think is garbage, probably, but still, I mean, it's sellable. The stuff from the 80s and 90s moves out in a heartbeat, so uh, as long as it gets a couple bucks, because if it has to go out at 50 cent, whatever, it's no good. But this is, you know, you know it's it, again, another okay. Uh, I don't think it's special. Oh, look, there's a sticker that all behind because of it. And we've got some little Scotty Young Avengers. Cute, cute. X-23 with the... Okay, cute, cuteness. Eh. And what is that? Eternals number one. Okay, that's a new series. Um, I haven't read it. I might read this. I'm, I'm sure I'll read this. Just to check out this new Eternals series. There is going to be an Eternals movie. It's a variant edition. No idea of the value, but it definitely is a reader for me. I'll read the new what this is. There is an Eternals movie coming out in the MCU, so I don't know. And we've got... Oh, God. Yeah, if you've watched my reviews, you know I just love this book, right? Oh, my God. I fell in love with Keanu Reeves trying to write a comic book. No, it sucked. Um thing is, it'll move for me. I mean, I have, every copy I've been finding in these stupid mystery boxes is sold the next day for overcover. So what the heck? People want them. Personally, I mean, maybe it's got value. I think it's way overprinted. I think the whole story behind how they went to print runs and all that is garbage. But, yeah. See, I think these stores bought... I mean, what, are they going to put one in every single damn box? Yeah. A piece of crap. Um, it'll sell three, five, six, whatever. All right. What a crap book to get again. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'll talk to you all. Uh, we'll see if anything is worth mentioning. If not, I'll talk to you all later.